Alright guys, here we are. I have the EM1. Um, I'm kind of bored today. I have a day off. I was gonna go take the car for a drive, but I really got nowhere to go. So, I just came outside and it was like, you know what? Maybe I could do some work on here. Especially here. Um, kind of effed up the paint when I was, you know, doing a little project. So I want to fix that. Figured all I like to, all I gotta do is wet sand all this area, and then re-clear it, put a fresh clear coat on there, and then buff it to blend it in with the rest. But I don't have any clear coat right now i don't feel like going to buy it so what i'm gonna do i figure maybe i'll start putting the the rear suspension setup in the mpc stuff that i have um it's got black works little control arms there i want to switch that out for the mpc uh Drop the lower control arms, put the um, the subframe brace and the lower tie bar. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I might even spray all this stuff black before I go ahead and do that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna try my best to record it. I'm not probably won't be going back and forth um, describing everything I'm doing because I don't feel like it and. That takes too much time, and I'm not really doing this to be a tutorial video. I'm just trying to show you guys the process of my build. That's really it. But it's pretty straightforward. You see you have a bolt there, the coilover bolt here, and the bolt right there. It's the same thing on that side. You have to remove those bolts, drop the little control arm, and then you bolt up the new one. And then the, the brace will bolt there. And then the lower tie ball will bolt to that. So you'll see how it's done. I'm not going to be explaining it, step it away. Like I said, it's not a tutorial video. This is just me showing you the progress of my car. But if you watch the video, there's a possible chance you might learn something. So, yeah, I already explained where the bolts are, what you have to do. From here on, it'll just be to watch the video and... and try to see what I'm doing but you know that's it so um I'll plug the video back in once I um once I set the camera up and everything like that first I have to uh jack up the car I'm gonna jack up the car to remove to remove these the, the wheels and then I'll go from there all right guys here we are um it's underneath the car I got the wheels off um, I was gonna start unbolting everything, but I think I want to spray on the hill black But then I'll have to wash it and stuff and I'm actually just being kind of lazy um, But one thing I would suggest which is obvious like if you didn't think of this then I don't, I don't know what you're doing um, if you're gonna be Messing with anything under here changing replacing whatever and you haven't touched in a long time just spray everything with WD-40 or some type of agent, degreaser, whatever, before you start touching. You know, if you haven't touched your coilovers in a while, spray some WD-40 on them, on all the nuts and bolts, just to help loosen them up when you gotta um, untighten them. Also, anyone who hasn't had these lowered drop forks or drop lower control arms um the drop lower control arms automatically lowers your car two inches so this is good let's say for someone who's on stock suspension you could throw these on and it'll drop the car two inches but if you're already on coil lowers and you got your car low you put these little control arms on they're gonna drop your car two inches so you have to be prepared to now 
lift up your coilovers two inches or adjust your coilovers to however you need it to be so that your car can be at the height you want it at. So that's another thing I'm gonna have to do after I install the lower control arms. So yeah, um, I'm gonna set you guys up. All right, guys, so this is what happens when things haven't been touched in a long time. You don't have the torch or anything like that. Things break. This bolt has just snapped. <clears throat> snapped from the backside here, as you can see. Um, so I got the three bolts out here's the one that was here as you can see snapped off not a big deal I, I mean I got new bolts I got um the heart the dress up hardware for these so replacing the bolt is not a big deal because I have the bolts now I'm gonna have to replace the nut I guess find a new nut, but that's no big deal either. You just, just got to find one, that's all. Because, but this piece here, this nut is like supposed to be, if you can see here, has like little spot welds. It's supposed to be attached to this bracket here. But I guess, you know, whoever did it, did this setup last time it was just so tight it's been so long it just broke off with it so now you just have to improvise i saw these are uh, problems you have with these dealing with old cars so now i just got to pry this out of here and then i'll go from there There you have it. Blackworks control arms. Bushings are still pretty good. This is probably gonna go up for sale. I'll have no use for them. All right, so. Like I said, I got it all off here. Um, kind of want to clean this up at least just a little bit. I'm probably going to spray it with this uh, wrinkle block. I would do it with like the, the bed liner or something, but I don't have any. So I do have this. So I'm probably going to use this just to spray this up a little bit and just clean it up a bit. Um, so yeah. I did this side, I'm not gonna sit here and record me doing that side because it's the same exact thing. So you already saw it here, same exact thing over there. If anything, I'll, I'll show you guys when I start installing the new setup. All right, I went, as you see, I got the other side out. This side came out a lot easier than this side. You know, I was having some trouble with this side. The, uh, the nut back here, the bolt snapped out, but this side came out a lot smoother. I didn't have any problems. And also, as you see, I, um, I sprayed just back here with the, uh, the, um, the wrinkle black that I showed you. I didn't do the whole thing. I didn't, didn't really feel like it. 
um i don't think it's necessary maybe i'll go back i don't know but right now this is my me i just where i'm gonna put you know the new little control arms the uh subframe brace i just wanted to paint all that black which i did so now i'm gonna just let this sit for maybe 30 minutes or so let that dry before i go ahead and start installing the new parts so that's where i'm at now um i'll record some of me installing the new parts and then we'll see what the finished product is with everything installed all right so right here i have a subframe brace it comes with the um the brace bracket and frame bracket like so got a little paint on it from uh, from that but um yeah it comes with the brackets to mount them so it comes with instructions so you'll follow the instructions it's very simple to put together so first you will mount the brace bracket to the brace like so with these two small bolts it says it recommends to torque them for uh, seven foot pounds of torque I did that but I'm pretty sure if you just you do it with a ratchet it'll, it'll be fine I just I have a torque wrench so I decided to use it but that's how you uh, mount the brace bracket to the brace then from there you would come here let me try to see if I could <clears throat> then you mount this up here and then put this behind this bracket goes to the frame and then from here you would bolt to put the two bolts in here to mount it um let me set that up now actually so here you would use let's say for example you could just take this the oem bolt and just throw it in there to keep it in place and then do the same on this side just to kind of hold everything in place while you work All right, guys, so just one more time. These bolts will bolt up to here, to the frame. Um, this bracket is supposed to go behind here and bolt up the, uh, the subframe to the frame. 
but I'm having a problem. These two holes are not lining up with the bolts properly. And my car, I don't know if all EKs have them, but my EM1 has threads here. So I don't need this bracket. They have the threads here. If anything, I could put nuts here as extra security, but for the meantime, they're good. Alright guys, here we go. It's all set up here. Lower no drop forks. I'm sorry, uh, drop lower control arms with a uh, Downstar hardware. Sub frame brace, lower tie bar. These, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get um, some Downstar hardware for there, but that'll do for now. And the same thing over there. I've only adjusted the coilovers a little bit. Um, I'm gonna drop the car and see where it's at. And then I'm, I know I'm gonna have to adjust it some more, but just for now, just so you guys can see what it looks like. And I decided to paint everything over here. I painted it all black. But yeah, that's it.